Welcome back to Strength and Health for Life, where we talk about exercise as medicine. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day 100 of our wellness journey together. Before we begin, we ask that you smash that like button down below, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you receive all alerts and watch the video all the way through. Also, if there are any topics that you'd like to see in this channel, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Today we continue our series on how COVID has changed the face of the fitness and weight loss world possibly forever by discussing exercise as medicine. But before we do, this is our 100th video and as such I wanted to give you all a big thank you for everyone that's stuck with me so far. Our community continues to grow slowly but surely. Now that we've reached 100 videos and 50 subscribers, I figured it might be a good chance to ask you guys to help us expand as far as we can by sharing the videos with as many friends as you can. I'd like to set our first subscription goal for around two or 300 and see what we can do. I'm not sure what we should do when I hit two or 300 subscribers, so if you leave any suggestions, that would be helpful as well. This is a health, weight loss, and overall wellness channel, so if you have any special topics you'd like me to talk about, I'd really love it if you would share that with me. In fact, as a reward video for this growing community, if there's a topic you'd like me to talk about that's outside of health and fitness, I'm open to that suggestion as well. It is a very special video after all. And although a few of you have left comments here and there, I'd love to see more of a dialogue started if possible. This channel is meant not only to provide you with information, but provide a place where we can share ideas when it comes to fitness, health, and wellness. So I'd absolutely love to hear from all of you. By the way, I also know that COVID has changed the way we work possibly forever and that many of us have lost our jobs and are unsure where to find the money to pay our bills. But there is a solution, so if you'd like to take the control of your income and time and put it back in your hands like I have, take action now and click the first link in the description to learn how. Exercise as medicine is a very simple concept that merely discusses how we use exercise to prevent our chronic ailments. This has been such a big thing with COVID happening because a lot of us have been spending so much time indoors that sometimes our chronic ailments have started to rear up again. There's a large portion of the population that was keeping our chronic ailments at bay simply by exercising or even just being able to visit the doctor more often. But between lockdowns and doctors being backed up, it's been hard for a lot of us to control our chronic illnesses. And it's only gotten prevalent with things calming down recently. More and more people are beginning to realize the value of exercise goes beyond just looking in shape. And it goes beyond just mere physical performance into the realm of preventing us from aging and keeping us younger for longer. And it absolutely helps prevent a lot of chronic illnesses that you would otherwise need medication for. Now keep in mind it doesn't prevent all chronic illnesses as some of them are genetic and some of them are due to damage that just can't be repaired. Now, for those of you using exercise just for general health, it doesn't matter as much what kind of exercise you do as long as you do something. But along with this trend has come the increase in desire for at-home gyms. And that's because many of us still don't want to go to the gym. A gym can be a breeding ground for many types of viruses and bacteria, and it's hard not to be social at the gym as well. Plus, as I stated before, many people have lost their jobs and just don't have the money to pay every single month in order to go to the gym. With that being the case, more and more people have started purchasing exercise equipment for home. In fact, I highly recommend a good set of adjustable dumbbells and that way you can work out from home and do your weight training. And because there are one set of adjustable dumbbells, you don't have to have an entire room to store them all. And it's not just working out at home that's become more prevalent. In general, people are paying more attention to their health, thus why exercise as medicine has become bigger and bigger. 
And part of that as well is the fact that we've all been cooped up in our houses for such a long time that we really need to expend some of that extra energy. Human beings want to be able to do something. The ability to do something is taken for granted until it's taken away from us. And now that many of us have been cooped up for so long, we get antsy. We just want to go and physically do something simply because it was restricted. But because it's been like this for such a long time, I believe that a lot of people will set up habits that they'll do for the rest of their lives. And I also believe that since our healthcare system was so overwhelmed last year, that many people have become less dependent on medications to control their health. People with diabetes have just started eating better and exercising, which has been proven to reverse diabetes if you do it properly. And that's just one example. So overall, there's been a shift towards exercise as medication in order to keep ourselves healthy and prevent the need for medication in the first place. Now, I don't think that it'll completely replace the medical industry, but I think that more Americans are gonna find themselves saving a lot of money in healthcare simply because they're exercising more and being more conscientious of what's happening. Because you can really think of exercise as more of a preventative medication. And because of that, and because of the habits that are being formed, I think we'll see this trend continue to grow, even once the pandemic is over. But exercise alone is not the way to lose weight and get in shape. In fact, there's one key thing for all success, whether it's financial, health, fitness, and losing weight, or even if it's relationships. And that's to have someone to talk to. Human beings are very social creatures that require interaction between each other. We need each other for support. We need each other for motivation and accountability. So if you're looking for a weight loss community to help keep you motivated and accountable, or maybe you're just looking for someone to be there for you along your weight loss journey, if that's the case, then please follow us on Facebook and join our Facebook group. Those links are at the bottom of the description. With all that said, stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I'll see you in the next video.